In this video, I'll be talking about Copilot Studio extension in Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Now, Copilot Studio is an extension for Visual Studio Code to allow you to design and enhance the development experience of Microsoft Copilot Studio Agent. It provides various set of features like language support, IntelliSense support, uh, and authoring capabilities for different Copilot Studio agent component. So it is a kind of like a uh, extension within Visual Studio Code, and then you can start editing your agents within that interface. So it enhances the development experience and it provides various authoring capability for Visual Studio Code based interface. Now, different commands that are available uh, while performing uh, some actions within this particular extensions or plugin is clone agent, fetch changes, pull changes, push changes, uh, and then focus on getting specific views like the started view, workspace view, uh, viewing the session info, and most importantly, signing into your agent. So this is how the action looks like. And also in the start, when you want to replicate an agent within your environment. So you click on clone agent, you select the environment, and then you select the list of agents. So as you see, you can you get an ability to uh, pick an agent. And once you select a specific agent, then you can go ahead and you can start editing that agent. So I'll go through all this uh, step by step. Uh, once the agent is opened within your VS code, you will be able to see the content of the agent uh, mostly in a YAML file. So this is one example of one of the agent named as therapy agent. And you can see the, the backend code, the YAML code over here. So let's jump into action. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go into say one of the agent which I've created in Copilot Studio. So let me go into Code Agent. Now, this particular agent, Code Agent, is an environment Kirish Dev. So uh, if I go into the topics, you can see that uh, there are some uh, topics which has already been created uh, by the system. Then we have a system topic and we can go ahead and create a topic from blank over here so if i go ahead and create a topic and i'll just call it as say trigger this topic when someone types in need author details so just take for example this is like one of the simple topic and I will just send out a message that this is author details and maybe I will just put on some some text so let's assume this is your topic and you have just saved this topic so I'll call this topic as author details now I'm just giving a very raw example uh, just to show you that once you create a topic, you get an ability to view the code, what you have actually written. So if I just go ahead and uh, save this particular topic, and then I will go into the various options over here. So if I go to more, then I can go into open code editor and I can actually see uh, the details like if you see over here i can see the kind is adaptive dialogue model description is trigger this topic when someone types in need author details uh, and then the begin dialogue where we have uh, the trigger part on recognized intent and uh, some more information over the uh, the message node so this is the code behind right now just think about it like say if you are building a topic there are like so many topics for your agent and if there are multiple people working on one specific agent how can you uh, make that edits uh, in that interface uh, and also you need to store this code somewhere within a source code repository for that we have an extension so let me go to vs code so if you navigate to vs code 
over here like i have already connected to one of the agents so let me uh, just close this window so let me go ahead and first go to the extensions over here and here i will type in go pilot So if I type in Copilot Studio, as you see, this is the extension which comes up. It is in preview state. Uh, if you read the description, it says this technology preview enables developers to edit their Copilot Studio agents from within Visual Studio code. So you can clone the agent content and then you can start working on that particular or specific agent from a specific environment. So let's go ahead and install it. So I've now installed copilot studio so it will give you a uh, message that can't install release version of copilot studio because it has no release version so you may need to install the pre-release now the pre-release is getting installed as this is in the preview state and now once it is installed you will see disable and uninstall button so now this application is installed so what you need to do is first go ahead and just put a angle bracket and just type in copilot studio the moment you do that you will see a lot of commands sign in show session info focus on getting started view push changes clone agent fetch agent so many things you get to see first thing first what you need to do you need to click on sign in so once you are signed in you will get this uh, section named as getting started now you have an option to clone the agent now you click on clone agent and here it will list down all the environments which you are currently signed into so we, i have multiple environments over here now if i go into this particular agent which i've just uh, the topic which i've just created is in girish dev and it's named as code agent so if i go to vs code click on clone agent and you will see a list of environment let me go to girish dev and then here it will start picking up an agent now i have therapy agent travel agent sp agent code agent so let me click on code agent over here and now it will ask me to select a folder so let me go ahead and pick up some folder so if i go to dev if i go to code copilot studio agent now here this is a folder which i'm selecting so let me select the folder and now what will happen is in that specific folder so let me show you that folder once it is updated so let me close this so this is the folder which we have referred over here so let me just minimize some of the things yeah let me go back yeah so you see the scope of studio agents and here i have now i can see the code agent so the code agent which i've just uh, cloned it and you can see various things uh, file within the uh, folder now we have an icon file so icon file is a icon file of an agent so you can see that then we have settings.mcs.yml agent.mcs.yml so there's an agent yaml file it's a settings yaml file then topics knowledge and mcs as a hidden folder so if you go into the topics you will see various topics which are created out of the box and also the topic which you have uh, updated so like the author details as you see over here this is the custom topic which we have just created then if you go into the knowledge you will see the knowledge source which is connected now i've connected this particular agent with a sharepoint knowledge source and that's why you can see this uh, mcs.yml file over here okay so that's the folder structure in the agent uh in the visual studio code you will see the agents over here so you can expand so code agent knowledge so let me just zoom it a bit and here i can see that same thing right so if i go to settings.mcs.yml here you will see the different yaml file now as you see display name code agent schema name uh, ai settings and and you can go ahead and uh, make any changes now if i just type in something now as you see the intelligence has kicked off and then i have an option to uh, specify uh, the items over here i can type in language icon base 64 display name etc so intelligence has kicked in over here 
so let me you know, undo it now also you can make the changes in the yaml file you can edit it you can uh, make those changes also you can go into agent so this is the agent instruction so you can go ahead and change uh, the instructions so i'll just say this agent will only list code, code from famous people requested by users so that is one of the instruction and i will just uh, put something like uh, lists author details so i'm just making some simple changes to show you how these things work now i've made change in the agent instruction so i'll just say Control s and i'll save this then I'll go to topics and within the topic we have author details now this is the model description we typed trigger this topic when someone types in need author details and I will just type in or author info so this is I'm just putting some some text um, in the uh, trigger topic so in the model description I said trigger this topic when someone types in need author details or author info information so let me put that complete statement and just save it now i've made a couple of changes one is in the instruction and one is in the uh, the topic uh, model description now what you need to do if you just go into the agent over here now you won't see any changes what i have made so if i just go to topics go into author details and here if i just see there's no changes because we have just made the change in VS code. Now, what will happen is if you want to sync these changes, you just need to type in this angle bracket, type in Copilot Studio. So I'm just typing Copilot Studio so that you can see all the commands that are available. And then you have an option to push the changes. Now, before you even start your work, what the first thing what you need to do is first get the fetch, just fetch the changes and retrieve the changes from the server and then make the change and then you can push the change so what we need to do now is push the changes so i'll just go ahead and push the changes so copilot studio and push the changes the moment you do that it will say push operation in progress and then it says successfully completed the push so now let's go ahead and uh, refresh this particular agent in copilot studio and now if you go into the topic uh, here you will see that that changes has now come in the or author information right so that means we have successfully made the change in VS Code and then that change has been propagated into Copilot Studio interface. You can also verify by going into Open Code Editor and you can see the same information. Let's go ahead and see whether the change which we have created for the instruction has come in or not. So if you go into Overview here, you will see the instruction and yes, we have got this change is the change which we have done. So this is how we can uh, make the changes now you can go ahead and uh, update all the topics all the agent tools etc in vs uh, in copilot studio but then if multiple team members are working on a single agent and if you want to have a source code repository support then you can go ahead and use this plugin now apart from this apart from the changes what we have done there are other things so uh, which you can see so as you see we have copilot studio agent so here you will see all the different agents which you have configured uh, and then the folder structure within the agent now if i just type in copilot studio so let me copy this command uh, here you will see options like show session info so if i click on show session info it will give me the session info like the process id timestamp session id and the platform on which it is running other command we have as we have worked on the push changes we have worked on the sign in uh, then we have uh, the clone agent the first thing the first statement we did is like the clone agent so you clone the agent from code uh, from the copilot studio to your local folder and that's how the fold the agent gets cloned uh, then we have fetch changes if there are any changes which the team member is making that changes will get propagated into your folder structure also, we have focus on agents view and workspace view. So if I click on focus on workspace view, you get this workspace view. 
over here now this is that workspace view this is your local interface so if you click on quote agent over here uh, here you can it, it's kind of a local workspace for you to operate on a specific uh, agent similarly we have a uh, focus on getting started view which is already this view then we have focus on agents view so if i click on focus on agents view this is that agents view which you can see you can see all the environment which i am connected to you can navigate within the environment and within that environment you will see all the list of custom agents which you have built or the out of the box agent which are currently available so even you can go ahead and say click on out of the box agent so if i go ahead and click on d365 sales agent outreach uh, i can operate on that agent now i haven't cloned it as of now but i have an option to clone that agent some of the agents are editable some of the agents are not editable but uh, the whole purpose is to have a custom agent built and then the custom agent sync to the local repository now as you see in this agent you see this as the remote and you see in the workspace this is the local so again this is a concept of that uh, uh, the source code management and source code storage within your local environment and then once you are done with the changes you just publish it to the remote environment so that's it folks this is all about the uh, the extension copilot studio uh, within microsoft visual studio code thanks for watching